to join us today so that you may share in the joy that Jessica and Marcus are feeling as they pledge their love and their commitment to each other. Jessica and Marcus, this is the time you have chosen to become husband and wife and to form a family complete with Jacob and Jackson. Marriage is founded upon sincerity and understanding which leads to tolerance, confidence, and trust. It involves respect for each other's feelings and weaknesses and faults. You believe that those qualities which have attracted you both to each other can be best developed during a life spent together. A happy marriage will enable you to establish a home with love and stability where your family and friends will always feel welcome, which would be the base of your influence to be shared. And we hope that it is strengthening a lifetime today and can be also extended. Every day you live, learn to receive the love with each understanding and giving as well. Finding things within yourself that you can share with each other. Do not fear this love. Have an open heart and sincere mind. Be consistent and constant in your love. From this comes security and strength. All that we love deeply becomes a part of us on this day of your marriage. Try to commit yourself fully and freely to each other. Our celebration of this union between Marcus and Jessica is shared also with those that have passed before us. The roles in their lives of Marcus and Jessica are no less remembered and honored as we savor today's joyous moments. Join with us then in fond memory of all these people, in particular with Benjamin and Betty Sanchez, Edwin and Clara Friesenham, Emilio Rosa Ocasio and Cirilla Serrano, Ubencio Garcia and Cecilia Infante. In their memory, let us be silent together. Thank you. The Bible has given us the world's best definition of what it means to love. I'd like to share with you this well-known passage from the Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And it offers a model to you for the new life you are creating here today. Love is patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offense and it's not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's faults, but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope. It is always ready to endure whatever comes. True, true love does not come to easily. It is made. It never comes to an end. Love is the reason why this day you have chosen both together, to begin your life together. Love is the reason why you both will give your hearts to each other. Love is the reason that together you will become one. One in hope, one in believing in life, and one in sharing the coming years. We've asked a hundred couples in America, especially in the San Antonio area, what the best definition of love is. And Jessica and Marcus said, love is caring for one another more than caring for yourself. Love is giving someone the power to destroy you, but trusting they never will. When you love someone, you want nothing but happiness. Nothing from happiness, but just no matter what. Folks, these are winners today. Marcus and Jessica, they met at, at a gym. <laughs> While Jessica and her friend, Christy, inquired about a personal trainer. And yes, you guessed it, it got personal. <laughs> Though Christy was kind of puzzled at the time, and as time went on, she was kind of like, what is going on here? I'm, tr I'm training less and less every day. <laughs> oh, I get it. Personal, train her. 
So as time passed, Marcus and Jessica, not only did they build muscle, they built a relationship for three years and a half, having become engaged last year. Christy, sincerely, Marcus is very thankful for you for inquiring. At this stage of ceremony, I ask if there's anyone who knows of any reason as to why Jessica and Marcus should not be joined in marriage. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Great. Before you are joined together in marriage, I am reminded to tell you of the solemn and enduring nature of this relationship into which you are about to enter in the presence of God, your families, and your friends. I ask that you would declare your intention to enter into a covenant of marriage which is sacred. Marcus and Jessica would like to share at this time their personal vows.
Do you, Marcus, take Jessica to be your lawfully wedded wife from this day forward, but having to hold, forsaking all others, for better or for worse, for richer and poorer, in sickness and health, to love and cherish for as long as you both shall live? Do you, Jessica, take Marcus to be your lawfully wedded husband from this day forward, to have and to hold? Forsaking all others, for better or for worse, for richer and poorer, in sickness and health, to love and cherish for as long as you shall both live. At this time, I would ask for the rings to be brought forward, please. I ask God to bless these rings that Marcus and Jessica will exchange as a symbol of their love and fidelity. May these rings be blessed as a symbol of this affectionate union. These two lives are now joined in one unbroken circle. Wherever they go, may they always return to one another in their togetherness. May these two find in each other the love for which all men and women yearn. May they grow in understanding and compassion. May the home which they establish together be such a place of sanctuary that many friends will always find. May these rings on their fingers symbolize the touch of the spirit of love in their hearts. Marcus, would you take the ring? Marcus, in placing this ring on Jessica's finger, I want you to repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I be wed, and with all that I am, and that all I have, I honor you. Jessica, take this ring. In placing this ring on Marcus' finger, repeat after me. With this ring, I be wed, and with all I am, and all I have, I honor you. <laughs> I'd like for you to join me at this time for the sad ceremony. Jessica and Marcus, you have committed here today to share the rest of your lives with each other. We have witnessed your giving and receiving of the rings and the exchanging of the vows. Now we will observe you create a lasting visual representation of these promises. Of course, the pink represents the sand for Jessica and all that you were and all, all that you are and all that you will ever be. And the gray represents Marcus, all that you are, all that you are and you will ever be. And the third, the white container represents God. As I take this vial and I pour a little bit of this white sand representing God, who is the creator of both, your spiritual beliefs are the foundation of your marriage. Jessica, I would like for you to pour some of your sand which will represent you as an individual. Marcus, would you pour some sand as well, which represents you as an individual? They both have placed in this container their individual lives. I will also pour in a little more of the white sand which represents God, that God forever support you in your relationship with Jessica and Marcus. Now I would like for both of you together to pour the remaining sand, which represents the joining of you two 
and union of marriage. And as we stand here before Almighty God, it is all blended together as one as you allow God to direct your life. two people are joined together, it is more than just the marriage between two people. It is also the blending together of children. In Marcus's and Jessica's lives, today, this is also the case. And I'm going to ask now that Jalen and Jackson join us. If you come, please. And as they join hands as a family, I would like to share a prayer at this time for them. Would you join us in this short prayer? Heavenly Father, you have instituted marriage to be sacred as you join your children in love. As I present before you Jessica and Marcus and their children this day, as we know they become one in marriage, I pray you would help them, you would guide them, and you would bless this union as they journey into a committed, devoted life to each other. May they never forget that only you can help them in all things and you can place it together. That when they, any negative or adverse situation arises, let them remember that two are better than one to conquer. If there are misunderstandings and disagreements, trust issues or suffering moments, allow them to recall the covenant moment they promised to each other this day. Because surely you will grant them the desires of their hearts to be sensitive, generous, patient, and full of love. So may they go forth this day with strong faith, love, kindness, as you bless their children and love them also. Amen. Thank you, Jalen Jackson. You may be seated at this time. As you begin your married life together, hold close to you the words that you will speak to each other every day. Life isn't always an easy road, as you both know. Rely on your faith and in the promises you have made today to help each other through the times in need. Ask God to grant you the gifts of caring and understanding in your life together, allowing that each may be to the other a source of strength in need, in counsel in times of uncertainty, in comfort in times of sorrow, and in companion in your joys. Jessica and Marcus, have consented together in marriage before this company. They have pledged their faith and declared their unity by each giving and receiving of the rings and are now joined in mutual esteem and devotion. As you have now become joined in marriage, you will now go forth into the world as a family. With God here joined together, let no one set asunder. By the authority vested in me by open ministry and the state of Texas, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.